Hi everyone, my name is Ho Youngju, and I am a young storyteller from Korea's International Storytellers Association. I would like to introduce you to the Korea's International Storytellers Association, KISA, which connects people to people, encourages people to communicate with each other, shares the value of stories all over the world, and puts all these into practice. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the establishment of the Children's Day by Pang Jong Hwan. Kisa is playing a special role in publicizing the life and literary accomplishments of Mr. Pang, the founder of Children's Day, and is carrying out the task of delivering his stories through global storytelling networks. Kisa was established in 2018 to contribute to the establishment of a worldwide archive for the transmission and the preservation of the oral culture of Korean stories and to foster the talents of international storytellers who are professional storytellers that introduce Korean story culture. Since 2018, Korea has been organizing the Korea International Storytelling Festival every year, helping young storytellers grow and work and promoting their collaboration with storytellers from around the world. KISA also promotes solidarity and cooperation through MOUs with universities and specialized national institutions to operate educational programs for nurturing professional international storytellers. In 2018, KISA organized the first Korea International Storytelling Festival and invited international storytellers from over 10 countries, including the US, UK, Denmark, Kenya, Singapore, Thailand, Romania, Myanmar, India, Italy, Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines. We did a story relay for a week by turning the story road connecting Gyeongju, Gyeonggi, Gangwon, and Seoul into a festival. It was very meaningful that the festival was the first international storytelling festival ever held in Korea. During the second Korea International Storytelling Festival held in 2019, KISA made history and tourism storytelling programs with universities, national libraries, schools, and the Shilla region of Gyeongju through solidarity and domestic storytellers and provided Gyeongju and Bungyeong history storytelling education together. With the cooperation from the citizens and the mayor of Gyeongju, we created a granting citizenship to the invited international storytellers and created a youth storytelling leadership education program with a story about Gyeongju, which was included in the festival. It has been introduced around the world as a successful example of one source multi-use in historical tourism storytelling through regional solidarity. The third Korea International Storytelling Festival held in 2020 was switched to an online virtual storytelling festival using the transmedia storytelling method for the first time in Asia due to the COVID pandemic sweeping all over the world. A larger audience and more storytellers were invited, turning a crisis into an opportunity. We also put into action the Digital Case Storytelling Globalization Project, which was free online. As the first part of KISA's 100 Overseas Library programs, story travel told in Korean. KISA's storytellers and silver storytellers performed together at a festival organized by FEAST in Singapore to introduce Korean stories to the world in Korean and English. KISA organized the fourth Korea International Storytelling Festival in 2021 and introduced Korea's unique identity to the world online through digital storytelling for a week. In the first half of 2022, a child storyteller from Kisa was selected as the world's children's storytelling champion with Kim Suan Moo's story. At the opening ceremony of Earth Up, organized by the National Storytelling Network, children and adult storytellers growled together. The president of Korea's International Storytelling Association said that she would participate in the 38th IBBY International Congress which will be held in Malaysia from September 5th to 8th. She will give a presentation on learning through storytelling, a magical way to teach children about language, life, and themselves. 
Then she will have a cultural exchange event featuring storytelling that introduces Korean picture books with Malaysian international storytellers at the National Library of Malaysia. She also said that KISA, the Korea International Storytellers Association, would fulfill its mission and responsibility to help more Korean storytellers in international exchanges in the future through activities to promote Korean stories and storytellers to the world. Mr. Bang Jong-hwan, as a Korean storyteller, always told stories to children and developed those stories to pioneer a new era of modern fairy tales. Mr. Bang Jong-hwan said that a story may be compared to a wonderful spiritual medicine that raises children with a mission to promote the educational value of stories as a medium to pass on the wise stories of our ancestors who overcame numerous crises and the wisdom of mankind to the next generation. International storytellers affiliated with the Korea International Storytellers Association are taking an active part all over the world. We hope that the activities of the Korea International Storytellers Association will be an inspiration for you watching this video now. Thank you.